What's going on, fam? It is your favorite entrepreneur, Base and Mental, coming at you with another amalgamation, another amalgamite video. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. The character you're about to meet is the predecessor to my previous amalgamite video of Izuken Eudoria. But this character's name, like, is gonna be very obvious. He Almighty. In the last video, <laughs> you met his descendant, who's split between Izuku Midoriya and Yusuke Urameshi. Izuku from My Hero Academia, Yusuke from Yu Yu Hakusho. With Toshizen or Almighty, you're getting All Might or Toshinori Yagi crossed with Ryzen of Yu Yu Hakusho. And this character is official. With the Mazaku power, it's generally passed down within a bloodline. And in this bloodline, Toshizen didn't exist. He's the very first to get the power outside of the bloodline. And with that being a, a thing, he becomes a monster of new abilities. Super strong. He can basically read any sort of energy. He's an animal. You feel me? Like he's just he's just as massive and overpowering as All Might and Ryzen themselves. Now, his story though, a little different. Okay, so Almighty, aka Toshizen. Got the power through sort of twist of fate. And in getting the power, he doesn't find out until he basically almost loses his life that this power is derived from a demon. And this demon's name is called All For One. And I'm keeping that name because it's honestly badass to me. It's a super sick name, in my opinion. And All For One passed this ability on to his family. And his family didn't want to be a demon. But they also thought he didn't have any quirks and abilities of his own. So he tried to force him into it. Only to find out that his only real quirk was passing on an ability. Yes, just like the act, the story. The My Hero Academia lore story. But he only passed it down through those of his bloodline. So that means everyone before Toshizen was his daughter, his son, his granddaughter, his grandson, his great-granddaughter, his great-grandson, and so on and so forth, until Toshizen. And he well, just made the power increase dramatically. He was, he, just, he was out of the box. He was unordinary to the family. Unfortunately, though, he didn't know and they didn't tell him that getting the power made him half-demon. This power twists your DNA into a being more hybrid-like. With that happening, he develops a bloodlust, or almost a lust to fight. He, he tends to start loving it, and almost sometimes forgets that he's a hero. And he finds out that the true power, one of the strongest parts of the power, is eating humans. And unfortunately, he's not about that. So while with him, the ability starts to change and sort of becomes self-sustaining without having to eat and uh, consume humans. But we're going to take a real quick step away. Thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and check out all my Amogamites in my previous link up above for the playlist. Now, right back into it. He finds out a lot about this ability and it shocks him but it doesn't make him want to stop becoming this hero of peace this 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 warrior for peace and justice right just like good old all might so he decides to keep powering the ability until he can fight all for one for himself because that is particularly part of what the ability is for 
That's why the younger brother accepted it in the first place. And he actually gets to fight him. And it is a crazy stupid battle. But he gets really, really severely injured and it damages part of his insides. Um, he still wins the fight and basically almost kills all for one. And if it wasn't for all for one's ability to absorb all quirks and all like all sort of special abilities or, or, or demon abilities or whatever, because of his ability to absorb so many different powers, he's just super hard to kill. Because he can absorb so many abilities that would preserve his life. While also knowing some crazy scientists and so on and so forth. But in winning that battle, it damaged his access to the Mazaku power or the palm. And in damaging his access, he can only be a hero for a certain amount of time a day. So he starts looking for a descendant. And he was going to look for someone in his bloodline, but he had then met Izuken and decided he, this is a direct quote, should have a fight, should have a, a fighting chance or have a chance to get in the ring. Understand what I'm saying? And in deciding that, he passes the power on to Izuken and continues doing hero work until the power sort of leaves him or he uses it all up. And unfortunately, he does it again. He uses up all the power in a fight against All For One, trying to defeat him and rid the world of what he considers to be evil. He wins the fight in a beautiful fashion. Called using his United Nations of Smash. Yes, I just did that. Accept it. United Nations of Smash. He defeated All For One, but All For One had just gotten the ability to someone else. I'm not going to tell you who yet. And in giving that ability up, the cycle sort of continues. And then Toshizen passes the power on to Izuken, who's already been using the quirk and trying to make it his own. But he doesn't find out until he almost goes berserk that along with that ability comes some ties to the people who are alive that have that ability as well. Toshizen can sort of put a leash on Izuken due to the power of the Mazaku. Because of that demon side as well as the human side, Iz Izuken being new to the power is much more susceptible to it. Instead of using the bloodlust, he almost gives into it. And Toshizen can sort of whip him right back to reality without having to be near him. It, it connects them on sort of a deep sort of spiritual level, if that makes sense. And in doing that, you have gotten super far in the video. I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming by. I hope you enjoy in the process. Tell me if you like this video, if you would like to see me change up how I shoot my videos in terms of the process so you see how everything comes out. And let me know if you're enjoying it. Make sure you are dropping Amalgamites, people. I need characters outside of my head from y'all so I can make y'all some characters too, all right? And let me know if you want to see any more art tutorial videos. I want to start posting some art motivation videos, all that good stuff, right? So make sure you do all of that because you want to be notified when I do it, you feel me? Just, yeah, just do that for your boy one time, all right? But seriously, thank you for coming back to the video. I hope you did enjoy Toshizen's story. I didn't tell much of his abilities, but it's pretty much like All Might. Just on steroids. And power demonically. But outside of that, it, it starts to become powered more by humanity over time. You feel me? Izuken is basically how that power sort of completely changes, but then he starts gaining access to all the abilities and boom. So, thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> You're dopest, dopest, dopest. Make sure you come back to the channel. Holla at your boy one time. Just do me one more favor. Exercise your excuses and go create. All right, fam? See you in the next video. Peace.